Well, hello, church family. We love you guys, and we hope that you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to share with you uh, some ministry plans that we have moving forward. We spent the last week with the pastors, uh, with the deacons, and with the stewardship team, and with the staff, just praying about how can we minister uh, during this difficult time. We realize that there are many people in our community that have been affected, uh, some of those by the sickness, but many of those will be affected economically. Um, they'll go under financial difficult times. And so uh, this is a great time for us as a church to rise up and help those in need. I've had several church members contact me and say, how, how can we help somebody that's in need? Do you know anyone? So what we wanted to do is to set aside a new ministry that we're going to call Hope for the Hurting. Our goal with it is for those people who are struggling, uh, that are in need, that we could help them. And so what we want to do is for the next two weeks, we're going to set aside all the funds that come in uh, through your faithful giving. We're going to put those in the mission fund, and we're going to do a couple things with them. One is we're going to continue to support uh, the missionaries that have been sent out. They still have great needs and are striving to minister during this time. And then the second thing is we want to start this ministry, Hope for the Hurting. Our goal with it is uh, to purchase uh, grocery gift cards, $100 uh, gift cards from local grocery stores, and then when we find out a family that's in need, we want to streamline that benevolence ministry that as soon as we find out about a family in need, you can contact the church office. Uh, you could just email us, church at springhillbaptist.church, and uh, we'll get that if we need their name, their phone number, and an address. And what we'll do is we'll send them a ministry packet that's going to have the gift card and a simple message of the hope that we have in Christ and uh, we want to send that to them to help, at least in some little way, to help provide some of the uh, grocery needs that they have for that month. If you yourself are hurting, please send us that email also. We would. Our goal is to minister well during this time. We know one day Christ is coming back. Uh, he's going to measure each man according to the faithfulness of his works. And we want to be found faithful during this time. We have so many people that genuinely care. So many people that have reached out to me and said, Jared, if you know anyone that's hurting, please let us know we want to help. So we want to make this an opportunity for the whole church. And so again, for the next two weeks uh, from today, March 30th until April 12th, 100% of what's given is going to go to the mission fund. We're going to use that to start the ministry called Hope for the Hurting. And so as you find out about people who are in need, and as you're praying for them and you feel like uh, the Lord's laying it on your heart, we would love to help everyone. Uh, we know we won't be able to, to help everyone that's in need. Um, but as, as you pray for them and the Lord lays it on your heart and you say, man, I want to reach out to this family, we want to provide that opportunity. So again, name, uh, phone number, address. And if you'll send that to the church office, and if that's you, then please let us know. We'll get that ministry packet to them. And also, if you're in need of just having food delivered to you, if you'd say, man, I, I, I can pay for the food. I just need someone to bring it. Uh, we want to provide that service also. So again, email the church, and we want to take this as an opportunity to serve well during this time. Church, we love you, and we thank you for your desire to make the name of Jesus famous. Let me say a word of prayer for us and a prayer for this ministry that God would bless it and use it for his glory. Father, I thank you that you're at work even in the midst of difficulty. Father, we, we ask that you would protect um, our community and our church. Father, for those that have been impacted and will be impacted, Father, may they seek you, and Father, would you continue to provide for them. Father, we ask that um, you would give us wisdom, uh, you would give us generosity during this difficult time that we could help those that are at that are hurting. And Father, those who are hurting, that may even hear this message, Father, um, would you allow them uh, to speak up and, and to let us know about their need? And Father, would you empower us and encourage us to, to minister to them and to minister well? Father, we love you and we thank you for this day. May you find us faithful. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Church, we love you. Hope you're having a wonderful day.